Hey everyone, it's Chris Edmonds again. Look at where I get to stand over. I'm Dan Milner, I'm a photographer. That was probably the gnarliest access I've ever done in my life to get to a spot. Dan Jabot here, uh, cinematographer for TGR. Working as hard as we can to get the shot and sometimes you put in all the work and you don't get anything. It's Nick Kalis, cinematographer, media manager. Matt Herriger here on the South Island of Japan. We are in position to crush. It's Chris Fagenshaw, one of the many cameramen on the further project. John Kleshkavich, I'm a head of production at Teton Gravity Research. Uh, probably like 10 seconds away, we'll go on visual. Copy, 10 seconds. Filming for the next installment of the Deeper series, Further. This one definitely has a, a bunch of different uh, variables that we have to deal with as a production team, but the uh, biggest one is cold and staying warm. We got a minus 20 guess. I'd say minus 20 is about right. Our cameras are constantly malfunctioning. The cold is really hard to deal with with our camera equipment. All of the camera operators here sleep with their camera batteries, solar batteries, and occasionally the computer. So we have to keep it warm, you know, below freezing. Things just don't function the way, you know, they normally do. The f thing won't work, dude. It won't shoot video. There's a lot of factors that are going on. There's like anxiety levels, you know, these guys are on top of big lines and the camera work becomes secondary sometimes. Talk about being miles from help, eh? Wouldn't take much to tumble into the abyss. Oh my god, JK. <laughs> that was probably the gnarliest access I've ever done in my life to get to a spot to shoot. I wasn't 100% comfortable with that. I actually feel a bit sick now. Uh, but we're here, so that's good. Uh, the cameramen on these trips are the heroes. Their packs are three to four times heavier than the riders. Their hands are out of their gloves a bunch, dealing with metal. And they also have to like hole up on the side of these mountains where we climb and are um, getting to our lines. And they could be on the side of a mountain for hours. They have it really hard, and then when they get home, having to deal with the cameras and the batteries and the footage. So this is uh, media management. Currently I'm running the laptop off of the Gold Zero, and I got six minutes left for this 32 gig card to dump. So I'm kind of just crossing my fingers, hoping this dumps in time for the power zaps out of the laptop. This year we have, we actually have more cameramen than riders. When we were shooting deeper, we had four to five riders on the, the bigger trips, and we had two cines, two cameramen. This trip we have three riders and four to five cameras out there. With a larger crew, with a more organized production crew, we're able to tell a story a lot better and a lot more complete. It's going to make a, a more interesting film to watch in terms of a visual standpoint. As a camera operator on this trip, I want to go on slope for all these shots. I want to go to the top of every single line. I want to bring the boom up top. I want to get the rat of shots I can possibly get. But it's a big effing deal getting into those positions. Just trying to make sure I'm in the right place to get the shot because I'm uh, only going to have one chance to get these guys breaking trail up this gorgeous face. How was that climb? It was really fun. Can't wait for you guys to get up. We try to have the lightest gear possible 
My friend Canyon made a, a 10 foot jib arm that weighs under four pounds that we can climb with and get to the top, tops of peaks with and things like that without breaking our back. Slinging a rock over there so we can wrap down instead of down climbing. Coming down, Ed! It's not as rad looking as I thought it would be. A lot of the stuff we do that we don't get plane drops for, we're going in on foot and we go in a really long way. Still have probably about eight miles to go. Been at it for a while, but it's good. It's absolutely frigid, but it's good. It's tough physically, and because it's tough physically, it's tough mentally, you know, staying motivated. Yeah! God, that looked fun. The way I look at life, uh, if I'm not having a good time, if I'm not laughing, why bother living it, you know? There's a lot of serious situations here, a lot of serious things we have to execute. We have jobs to do. You know, we have to be careful with all this stuff at the same time, though. If I'm not off out there, it's not fun. Hey, guys. Hello. Christopher, how are you? Good, you? It's honest me, who makes a trail this skinny? Too skinny like a woman. This is the part of the job that sucks, walking. It's tough, but it's also an amazing gig, you know? I wouldn't be doing this job if I didn't love it. It's an insane job, and a lot of times it doesn't feel like a job, it feels like a vacation. We should get a load of clip on us and go here. <laughs> <laughs>